In this video, we are going to review the essential steps of preparation and application of the SpO2 OPOD and the pulse oximeter attachments for the 3880 MRI patient monitor system. We will focus on selecting the appropriate sensor grips, proper application of the grips, and placement of the OPOD during the MRI exam. Prior to monitoring pulse oximetry, ensure that all 3880 system components are sufficiently charged and are connected on the same wireless channel. Please review video one if additional preparation information is required. The SpO2 readings will display in the blue section of the patient monitor. Here, the user will see the SpO2 percentage, pulse rate, dynamic trends, the waveform, the perfusion indicator, and alarm limits. Step one, selecting the appropriate sensor grips. Iratamed offers both reusable and adhesive grip applicators. Be sure to select the appropriate size depending on the patient type. Iratamed offers adult, pediatric, and neonatal grips. The disposable grips are best used for patients that can move and cause reusable grips to become displaced or fall off. Additionally, they are best used for patients with contagious ailments. Step two, attaching the sensor to the cable and application to the patient. To attach the grips to Iratamed's SpO2 OPOD, gently grip the fiber optic cable emitting the red light and insert into the opening on the selected grip marked by a star icon or number. Then, select the receiving fiber optic end and gently insert into the other receptacle. When changing out the grips, be careful not to pull from the fiber optics. The fiber optics can be fragile and over time can present problems with accuracy if they are damaged. Be sure to remove the grips by pulling from the same location as attaching the grips. Pull straight out and dispose of used grips accordingly. Iratamed's SpO2 grips can be placed on any finger or toe the user finds most appropriate. For neonatal patients, the user may also choose the foot, wrist, or palm of the patient. The adhesive secure wraps allow the user to test the application site prior to sticking to the patient. To apply the adhesive secure grips, Peel off one side and align the sensor over the nail bed and stick it down. Peel off the other side and wrap it gently around the other end, ensuring the black rubber ends are opposite. Gently fold remaining tape around the digit as shown. The user must be sure the grips are secure as to avoid poor readings. The user needs to ensure they do not wrap too tightly and check circulation after applying the grip to the patient. When applying the reusable grips, slide the sensor over the selected digit and position the number icon so it is directly over the patient's nail bed. Step three, check for adequate SpO2 signal and prevent environmental impacts. Check the perfusion indicator to ensure ample signal is being detected by reviewing the PI number on the SpO2 waveform. If the signal is greater than 0.5, then proceed. If the perfusion indicator is less than 0.5, then select a different digit and proceed to step two. Before entering the MRI room, also known as zone four, be sure to place the OPOD on a blanket or towel to minimize MR vibrations. As a best practice, it is recommended the hand being used to monitor SpO2 is covered with a blanket to prevent ambient light from potentially affecting the patient's readings. When not in use, store the OPOD in the charging dock on the patient monitor as seen in video two. Be sure to tuck the fiber optic cable inside the clip located on the reverse side of the monitor as to avoid damage. The SpO2 OPOD is now ready for the next patient. For more information, visit www.iratamed.com. For technical support, please call 407-677-8022.